Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk to you guys about gym douches who throw their dumbbells on the floor or drop them on the floor after they do presses for their chest of some type. And let's talk about why you don't want to be that douchebag. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skilling up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. Now, when we see these douchebags do this, and they really are douchebags, they might not even know that they are, and that's okay. Uh, this is why we have videos like this to educate people. What these people need to understand is that they are a danger to themselves and to others. And all of you who aren't these people need to be aware that they are in a gym. If you're in a gym and you see guys like that who don't know how to dumbbell chest press correctly, odds are they're going to drop them on the floor. Um, I have personally been hit by a dumbbell that bounced across the floor when someone did this before. I thought I was in the safe area and it bounced over and hit me right after I got done doing some 500 pound deadlift rep work. Uh, needless to say, I went over and ripped the guy's ass a new one. Um, I was pretty hard on him, and he didn't really know what to say other than apologize. Um, and then, you know, of course, people were kind of laughing at him afterwards. But yeah, I went at him pretty hard because uh, he hit me with his fucking dumbbell. And, you know, you got to think about it. There are people in the gym who are a bit smaller and weaker who might have been closer to him. Uh, they could have broken a foot. They could have broken a leg. And it does happen. So you need to be aware of these guys yourself and watch for them. And you can tell who they are, not just because they dress like gym douches. Uh, you can tell who they are by the way that they press. And the guys who are doing this, let me explain to you why you are eventually going to hurt yourself also. Because people who do this, they obviously don't give a single fuck about anybody else around them. Or else they wouldn't be throwing their dumbbells on the floor. They don't give a fuck. They're convinced that they're getting better gains somehow by doing it the way they're doing. And the only way that they know how to handle the dumbbells to drop them on the floor afterwards because they're so tired and they can't get them in any other position. They don't see an alternative and their gains are more important to them than breaking some unlucky person's foot next to them. So they don't give a fuck. So the gym douches who do this, let me explain to you how you're going to hurt your fucking self doing this. All right. When you perform a chest press... It should be with a weight that you are capable of handling. You guys remember the Devin Physique videos and I broke down why he tore his pec, why he did it doing these, the biomechanics of it? That's because Devin Physique is a gym douche. And he got what's coming to him using really shitty technique and teaching it to others is hopefully a learning lesson to everyone watching so that they don't tear their pecs. When you do what he does, you get hurt. And it's standard. That's how gym douches press. What they do, because they don't understand the biomechanics of the shoulder or how to press correctly, they get pulled way up high and they have to have a spotter help them get into position and they turn their elbows out. Right? So they're pressing like this in some way, whether it's an incline or a flat bench or whatever. Well, look at what that does to the rotator cuffs in the shoulder. That will eventually damage your shoulder. And it also puts you in a compromising position. Uh, and you're also using a weight that you can't handle because when you do a chest press, when you bench press correctly, read any book on how to bench press. What are you always taught? Tuck the elbows at the bottom, right? You tuck the elbows. Tuck the elbows. Now, if you're turned out like this, how are you going to do that? Well, with dumbbells, the beauty of a dumbbell, the reason dumbbells are so fantastic for certain types of accessory movements or for stimulating extra growth in a lagging muscle sometimes is their ability to move freely. You can put them into anatomically perfect positions. They can sometimes clear the body easier. You can get longer ranges of motion than you can with a barbell. There's a reason dumbbell chest presses are popular for building pecs because they do have some advantages. I'm not saying they're the best exercise, but they have some range of motion advantages. And when you look at the exercise, it's apparent why. You have the ability to get the dumbbell lower uh, because with a barbell, you bring it down so far, you hit your chest, you're done, right? With the dumbbells, you can come lower in. You can clear your chest. You can get an extra couple inches deeper. Well, that puts a deeper stretch on the chest. But these guys turn their pinkies out. So then they end up doing partial reps because number one, they're ego lifting. They're lifting a weight that's too heavy for them. Uh, and because it's too heavy and they're in a bad position, they can feel that it starts to hurt if they go too low. So what do they do? They short rep it. And by short repping it and by skipping the hardest part of the exercise, it allows them to use a heavier weight. They have to use a, say, a heavier weight. If you skip the hardest part of any exercise and you want to, say, get around close to 10 reps to failure, you have to use a heavier weight to reach failure at that point, right? Otherwise, you just do a bunch more reps. 
So they use a weight that they can't even do the full range of motion. And because they put it in a position that's really hard to get it into position in without a spotter, it's also really hard to put it back into the safe position. The correct way to do them is to sit down, whether it's on an incline or flat with dumbbells on your lap, you stand up, you put them on your knees, over on your thighs sitting here, you lay down and you kick them down into position. Because at the bottom of a press, your elbow should be tucked. Dumbbells allow you to do that, but these guys, because the dumbbells let you go freely, they go the exact opposite. They'll end up going up here into a position that compromises the rotator cuff that can damage your shoulder. And then they do it with too heavy of a weight. See the problem here? Eventually that weight's gonna come too low, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna see like what happened to Devin Physique. Of course, he ripped a pec, but you can also damage your rotator cuffs with a lot less weight than he did, with less trying to not do one rep maxes. Um, but you start down here. Well, when you start down here, it's really easy to sit back up and put them back on your lap. It's really easy to do it. In fact, uh, because you're having to use a slightly lighter weight because you're doing the full range of motion, generally most people's core and back are strong enough to get those dumbbells back in position on their knees easier than it was to do the set. It's really easy. And you're in the correct position at the bottom. You're down like this at a 45 degree angle. Now you guys have seen Big J on Big J's fitness because of his previous shoulder injuries. He turns them all the way into 90 degrees, like a pronated grip. Uh, but that's because he's had a shoulder injury and he finds that takes the stress off the shoulder joint. So what does that tell you for guys who don't want shoulder injuries? Turning them in so that you can tuck at the bottom just like you do on a bench press will put less stress on your rotator cuffs. It's gonna let you get bigger and stronger without jacking your shit up. You're not gonna get fucked up. And you have the added benefit because you're down like this, you come up and then you're back down. And even if it's on an incline, it's the same thing. You're back down, you can put them back on your lap. That means you can stand up and set them back on the floor. You should be able to do that with as much weight as you can deadlift. All right, so if you can deadlift more than 300 pounds using a pair of 150 pound dumbbells this way should be within your ability. And if you're pressing anything over 100 pound dumbbells, you damn well better be able to deadlift over 300 pounds. Let's be honest. Now, when you do that, you're not only now being courteous to everyone around you, you're not risking hurting all the other people around you, you're also protecting your own shoulder joint. And that's the thing with douchebags. Douchebags, there's a thing with karma I've noticed, and I don't know if there's a law to the universe that causes this, but in my experience, gym douches who do stupid stuff that's incourteous and tends to hurt other people, the same things they do tend to hurt themselves. Now, for all of you out there, how do you watch for these uh, gym douches? Well, look how I just described. People who turn the dumbbells out and they don't have them tucked in correctly, you know that when they fail, the only place they have to put those dumbbells because they can't get them back into position correctly is to drop them on the floor, which means they can bounce and hit somebody, right? So when you see someone pressing like that, you need to watch out for that guy. That's a gym douche. That's a guy who's going to break your foot if you walk too close to the sides of that uh, bench when he's doing his set. And for me, I thought I was far enough away when I got hit with a 50-pound dumbbell before or whatever it was. It was actually a 150-kilo dumbbell, so it was 110 pounds flew over and hit me, I was probably seven or eight feet away from the point it hit the floor at, and it bounced that far. It hit the floor, bounced, and like bounced twice and hit my leg. Dude actually hit me with the dumbbell from like eight feet away. You've got to watch for these guys, because if you don't, they will hurt you. And those of you out there who've been pressing this way, don't be a gym douche. Try not to hurt yourself and try not to hurt other people when you're at the gym. You're at the gym to improve yourself. Everyone who's in that gym is there to improve themselves. They're not there to be injured or hurt by their own stupidity or someone else's stupidity. Don't be that person. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.